Hi, I'm Haruka Kiyohara, a first year PhD student at Cornell University. Today, I'm going to talk about the paper of policy variation of slate bandit policies via optimizing abstraction, which has been accepted to the Web Conference 2024. So starting from describing slate recommendation in online advertisement or medical treatment, we often optimize a combination of action called slate. So a slate consists of uh, multiple sub actions. For example, in online advertisement, we have several choice of decisions such as slogan or key video or discount rate, and all of which uh, can affect the final outcome or reward such as click or purchase. So when, when evaluating this rate recommendation, we want to consider uh, this kind of complex relationship among multiple sub actions in order to identify an efficient rate recommendation policy. And especially in our know, policy variation of slate recommendation, we are interested in using the log data collected in the past interaction in the system in order to evaluate a new policy called evaluation policy. And there are two prevalent approaches in the existing method. So the first is applying important sampling. And now in our policy variation, we are using the log data collected by some login policy in the system. But uh, our policy of interest, which is evaluation policy, may have a different data distribution between the login policy, right? So in order to deal with this uh, distribution shift, we're going to apply importance weight uh, which is uh, evaluation policies probability divided by the login policy probability to enable an unbiased estimation to correct the distribution shift. And this approach, however, uh, suffer from a high variance uh, due to the combination of sub actions. And since we have very large action space uh, due to the, all of these uh, combination of actions, the importance weight uh, typically becomes very large and we suffer from high variance issue. So to deal with this uh, variance issue and also to avoid the combination of sub actions, uh, some other uh, direction is to apply a linearity assumption on the reward and assumes that a uh, total reward is linearly decomposable into the value of each sub-action, such as value of a key visual or slogan. However, uh, since uh, this assumes some restrictive assumption, this approach introduces bias uh, when the linearity assumption does not hold, and it's very hard to verify uh, if the assumption really holds in real-world application. So to deal with those uh, challenges of existing approach, and especially to deal with the large action space of a slight recommendation without introducing some restrictive assumption, our approach instead introduces latent abstraction and consider applying important sampling on the latent abstraction space, which is typically much smaller than the combination of actions in the slate action space. So first, uh, we input a slate feature into some encoder and get the latent abstraction of the slate, and we apply important sampling on the latent abstraction. And by doing so, uh, we can leverage similarity among uh, different slate uh, by using uh, by learning our effective latent abstraction. And by doing so, uh, we can significantly reduce the variance uh, of the important sampling while maintaining the uh, maintaining a small bias by leveraging sub similarity among slates. And also in our paper, uh, we discuss how we can optimize the abstraction in a way to minimize the mean scale error or to enable an accurate of policy variation of slate, uh, slate recommendation. And finally, uh, we conduct experiment on two real world data set, which is uh, WIC 31000 and also urex 4 k and uh, we observed that our proposed latent I IPS, or LIPS, uh, which is a green line, enables very accurate estimation across various configuration. And all additional experiment result, theoretical analysis, and also how to optimize the slate abstraction are described in the paper. So please check out the paper for the details. Thank you.